Hi friends, please welcome to the part 36 of this video series playlist. We are looking at real certification questions. Today again we will look at five more important real certification questions. Now for some of you who don't know, there is a join button below the video. Please click the join button. This helps you to pay a small amount as a subscription to become a member. But there are a lot of benefits. You get some additional content which are very important to clear your concepts as well as clear your certifications around cloud. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscriptions helps me a lot to understand the pulse of the audience as well as it will help you stay tuned to the latest certification contents around Azure, GCP and AWS. So let's jump into the questions. This question is asking about that the virtual machines that are running on a data center. What happens to it if it fails, if the data center fails? OK, so the solution also they have given you will get such questions in the exam where they will give you the problem. They will give you the solution. You just have to say whether you conquer with the solution. If you conquer, click yes. If you do not conquer, click no. So the solution they are giving to this problem. What is the problem? The problem is that the data center can fail. You see this? This is your problem. A single data center. It can fail. So if it fails, the solution they are giving is you deploy virtual machines using two or more resource groups. See, resource group is a container that holds related as as your resources. For example, you have four or five VMs. It will hold it in a logical container, but it will finally reside in your data center itself. If the data center itself fails, the resource group will also not work. Hence, in this case, the answer does not meet the goal. We do not conquer with the solution that they have given here. That's why no is the answer. Now, this question again is telling you that this is a solution resource groups provide organizations with the ability to manage the compliance of azure resources across multiple subscriptions see resource group is just we are trying to create a logical kind of stuff it's a virtual logical kind of stuff it is a container okay it's a virtual container where you can allocate the resources for example hr team can have all the resources tagged to the resource group of related to hr there can be a separate resource group for the finance department and the VMs that finance department uses will be a part of this uh, finance department resource group. But resource group alone will not help you manage the compliance. The question is talking about manage the compliance. So there has to be something higher than that. And that is called management groups. The management groups, it will efficiently apply governance controls and manage groups of Azure subscription. So you can create a group of your subscriptions. You can apply policies and access control to any service. And that is what we want here. So this would be my answer. OK, so B would be my answer in the exam. You will get such questions where, you know, if you conquer with the answer, then you should select A, no changes needed. If you conquer, if you do not conquer, then you have to choose from B, C and D. OK, so management group is my answer. What are Azure policies? See, if you want certain specific security conditions to be controlled, you create Azure policy. You can build in the definition, include things that you want to control and you can create your own custom policy definitions. See, this question is not a security question. This question is a compliance question. OK, not a security question. It is a compliance question. That's why C is wrong because C is a security solution, not a compliance solution. D talks about app service plans. See, if you if you have an app service plan, then web apps, API apps and mobile apps all run in the app service plan. You can create the app service plan in a certain region, for example, West Europe and set uh, a set of compute resources can be allocated in that region. Okay. Each service plan defines these operating system, region, number of VM instances, size of VM instances and the pricing tier. So you can choose between these pricing tiers, shared compute, dedicated compute and isolated. So what it looks like? Service plan is a compute solution. It is not a compliance solution. It is a compute solution, not a compliance solution. That's why D is totally wrong. C is a security solution. D is a compute solution. And uh, as your resources alone will not manage it, you need something better than that. That is management group. So this would be my final answer. Now let us look at this question. Your company plans to migrate to Azure. Okay. You, you are on premises, you want to move to Azure and all Azure resources. So there are several departments and all Azure resources used by each department will be managed by the department administrator. So if there is a finance department, there will be one administrator for that. If there is a HR department, there will be one administrator for that and so on. What are the two possible techniques to segment Azure for the departments? You want to apply a segmentation solution. 
and you want to apply two techniques so in my previous questions i was explaining that when you have such scenarios you always think about resource groups you can create a group which is only for the finance department you can create a group which is only for the hr department so resource groups would be my first answer so i will take this off this is my first answer so why do i uh, wait for another answer because i have to choose two answers okay two answers here because it is asking about two possible techniques so be careful in the exam okay the other thing is uh, now apart from this what else we can use c talks about multiple regions you see putting this on multiple region you will not do suppose you you are uh, a company which is based out of uh, sao paulo in in us you would not create a finance department in in a region which is in ohio uh, hr department which is in a region in singapore you would not do that right so multiple region is is like way too off so i would strike this out this is the wrong answer let us talk about multiple azure directory ad directories see ad directories alone will not help you with this because ad directories you know the ad directories it is a cloud based identity and access service management what it helps you with is to access external resources like microsoft 365 thousands of other saas applications you can use directories to make that access possible it will not help you with structuring your departments and resources it will not help you that leaves us with just one more option and this would be my answer that is multiple subscriptions because subscriptions you can you can very well do it you can have multiple subscriptions one subscription for hr department one for finance department one for it teams one for sales teams and one for like sustainability teams and so on so you can have your subscriptions you can set service limits you can set quotas and constraints on those so these are the general limits you have these are the subscription limits you have so these two are my final answers so this is asking a question around a single microsoft account can be used to manage multiple azure subscriptions yes you can have one account but within that account you can have multiple azure subscriptions so what is the difference between subscription see subscription is a group of resources that is assigned owner based on the billing and permissions management for this for this purpose primarily for finance department for hr department we set up separate subscriptions but an azure account if you see this it represents billing relationships and azure subscriptions help you organize the access to the azure resources this is a difference between azure account and your subscriptions so for the account you have account administrators you have service administrators you have co administrators so if you see this is a very important thumb rule only one account administrator is assigned per account one account can have only one administrator okay that is important only one service administrator is assigned per subscription one subscription will have one service administrator and there can be multiple co administrators so there can be multiple co administrators assigned to subscriptions this is very important you will get questions around this topic very frequently so this is my answer let's look at the next one So this one talks about two Azure subscriptions can merge into a single subscription. Is this possible or not? See, merging is not possible. This is a no for us. Subscriptions cannot be merged. And the third one says a company can use resources from multiple subscriptions. See, that can be possible. Suppose you want to create an analytics report which cuts across finance data sets, HR data sets, and so on. So, so if you have Uh, multiple subscriptions one for finance one for hr it doesn't mean you cannot cut across you can still access those data sets from those databases in those subscriptions so this is still yes in the real world we keep doing it there will be multiple subscriptions and we want to access suppose you want to create a data warehouse solution you will get the ingestion happening from the finance teams finance systems from the sales systems from the hr systems from the it systems and so on so this is my final answer see in this question you have an azure environment that contains multiple virtual machine so you have multiple virtual machines you have multiple virtual machines and you plan to implement a solution that enables client computers or on premises network to communicate to virtual machines so you have your virtual machines on azure environment these are your virtual machines and this is your az azure and then you have your on premises here op that is on premises and you want to access these virtual machines communicate to them you need to recommend azure resources which must be created for the planned solution so out of these which azure resources should be used two of them you know you see this you want two answers so the first thing you see load balancer load balancing is load balancer is used to balance the loads if you have a web application on sitting on this vm then you can plug 
uh, load balancers load balancers will not help you with communication between on premises and cloud so this is wrong now let us look at application gateway what is application gateway it is still a load balancer but a web traffic load balancer this question is not about any load balancer so we will mark this wrong okay so we have eliminated two we just want to eliminate one more so we have a virtual network a gateway so we don't want a virtual network because a virtual network will not help you with you know communication for this what you need is a virtual you need a gateway you need a virtual network gateway and a gateway subnet so virtual network gateway would be my first answer so you see a virtual network gateway it comprises of two or more vms that are automatically configured and deployed to specific subnet these subnets are called gateway subnets this is our second answer gateway subnets you see this gateway subnet this is our second answer so the gateway vms they contain routing tables and specific run information you can you cannot directly configure the vms that are part of virtual network gateway although the settings that you select when configuring your gateway impact the gateway vms that are created okay so this is an important documentation you should refer to there is also something called vpn gateway just as an fri it helps you communicate between on premises using public internet and cloud okay so if you don't want to set up a dedicated network then you can use this it will route your traffic through internet connections but it will create tunnels in between so that it is secured mm -hmm. so these are my two final answers i have also shown you the documentation proving that these are correct so please hit the subscribe button do not forget to hit the join button it will help you pay some small amount as subscriptions but become a member and you will gain access to wealth of information so this was part 36 we will post many more such parts we are just discussing real certification questions. See you in the next part.